So what do you think this ranch's contribution has been uh, to society at large? I, I think that uh, when you start talking about the contribution to society as a whole or at large, I think it would be very minuscule. I think it'd be very small. But I think as you, you each do your small part in agriculture, whatever it is, toward feeding the population, making food available, uh, the sustenance, the sustainability of life, uh, all those little pieces that, all, that everybody's engaged in all come together for the greater good. And uh, for us to think that, uh, that we and somehow have impacted this, this globe in some great phenomenal way, I think would be, would be off base. Uh, I, I think it's the fact that you're a part of an industry that does have a huge impact and, and we just play a small part in trying to improve the genetics, make the cattle and the land better than we found them. And that's, it's, it's, it's about that simple. I don't think it's complicated. To me, ranching, farming, agriculture. I cannot separate ranching from any of the rest of them. Uh, we can talk about quality of life for those of, of us that want to make our living this way, and that has great value. But it's about sustainability of natural resources. Uh, whether you're in ranching or farming or agriculture as a whole, it's about feeding humanity. It's about sustaining natural resources. It's about taking care of, uh, of the animals that we deal with in a fashion that is uh, honorable and makes sense. And all through history, at least recorded history to date, the greatest civilizations on this globe are the, the groups of people or the countries that have had a great agricultural base.